I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, all year I was critiqued about who I was. Nobody, I don't, yeah, 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 the narrative, I don't fit the narrative. I don't fit in the box that y'all want me to be in. I'm too hood, I'm too ghetto. Y'all told me that all year. But when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. So this was for the girls that look like me, that going, that's gonna speak up on what they, they believe in. It's unapologetically you. And that's what I did it for tonight. This was for the more than, it was bigger than me tonight. It was bigger than me. Twitter is gonna go in a rage every time. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like I've grown, helped grow women's basketball this year. I'm super happy and excited. So I'm looking forward to celebrating in the next season. Brother Van Silk, not in my house. Monday, tonight is going to be UConn versus San Diego State. But I'm gonna say this. Because everybody been talking about it. First of all, let me give props to LSU. They did a hell of a job. They did a hell of a job. But I want to bring up this whole Caitlin Clark, Angel. It's sad because y'all can't blame Caitlin Clark. She's She's a, she's definitely gonna go to the WNBA. Now I'm gonna be honest. I ain't watched no girls basketball, none. But after I was watching, which y'all gonna see later on this post, Dawn Staley talking about how the white media is treating the black basketball female basketball players and the things that they're saying about them. And everything that she said, because North South Carolina was 36 and 0. LSU, uh, 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 Iowa beat them. Kate Clark's gonna beat them. She did all that. If one girl, she was at the three point line, she waved her hand like that and, like, go ahead, take the shot. And the girl didn't. She passed it. But see, this is what I'm talking about. It's the fans. It ain't the basketball players, it's the fans. Y'all made this a race thing. Angel did what Caitlin Clark did. She became ghetto and Caitlin Clark, oh, she 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 got swag. And that's sad. Keith Oberman, I'm 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 really surprised at you, man. You of all people, you you dropped off a long way, brother. But you gotta look at it. Angel came from Maryland. She was out. You know, she transferred this year. And 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 Carson. Now listen, the girls play. They played their ass off, okay? The young girls play, play, <coughs> played the game. And Angel. It is what it is, man. Can't take nothing away from Iowa. They're a good team. They caught South Carolina off guard because actually, if it was anything, it should have been South Carolina versus LSU. But evidently, LSU got to watch the tapes and see how how, how to play them defensively. Because like I said, half of y'all didn't even watch the um, March female women's tournament. A lot of y'all didn't watch it, so stop it. Stop. Y'all just picked up on it. Just like, I'm going to be honest, I picked up on it. And at the end of the day... Caitlin did the same thing with the hand, you know, that Angel did, and y'all want to sit up here and chastise her. And y'all don't even want to give the girls at LSU the respect and say, yo, they won. They beat them. Now I could get I could say when Caitlin threw the ball back, the referee gave her tech, I wasn't called for. But at the end of the day, it ain't the girls. It's your racist fans. Your racist fans. Watch what Dawn Staley had to say. This is the day before. This happened. On, I, I made this post on Sunday. Dawn Staley was talking about how South Carolina basketball players were treated and talked about. It's your brother Van Soak, not in my house. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. And uh, we'll have a good game tonight. I got UConn to win. Peace. This your brother Van Silk, not in my house. 
There's a lot going on in basketball, men's basketball. <laughs> San Diego State versus UConn. Who would ever pick that? I mean, in my second challenge, challenge of the bracket, I had uh, San Diego versus UConn, but let's not get them about that right now. South Carolina State women's basketball was 36-0. 42-0 through the tournaments. They were the team to beat. Dawn Staley, great basketball player from Virginia, coach. They ran up against Iowa State, who has a high player named Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is no joke, man. Definitely <laughs> Steph Curry of <laughs> female basketball. And they got to play LSU today for the championship. But this is what I want to say. There's a lot of things going on. The Dawn Staley brought out in the press conference after the post game. And seemed like a lot of you on the news made sort of kind of racial statements because South Carolina's more of an all black team and word going around like going in there, it's like going to a bar fight. And when Dawn Staley said that her players are not at a bar fight, they're not monkeys. It seemed like some of you that are right for the major press made those type of statements that got back to her. Let's hear what Dawn has to say. And I'll be right back. It's your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Yeah, because I said I was going to say it, whether we lost or whether we won. Some of the people in the media, when you're gathering in public, you're saying things about our team and you're being heard and it's being brought back to me. Okay? And these are the people that write nationally for our, for our sport. So you can you cannot like our team, okay? You cannot like me. Um, but when you say things that you probably should be saying um, in your home on the phone or texting out in public and you're being heard, and you are a national writer for our sport, it just confirms, just confirms what what we already know. So. Watch what you say. Times other coaches, your colleagues, have sitting in that spot and talked about you all being bullies. What's the truth about your team? The truth about our team, okay? It's a good question, okay? Um, we're not bar fighters. We're not thugs. We're not monkeys. We're not street fighters. Um... This team exemplifies how you need to approach basketball on the court and off the court. And I do think that I do think that that's sometimes brought into the game. And it and it and it hurts. Okay? Um and I do think that some of uh I'm differently so don't judge us by the color of our skin, okay? Judge us by how we approach the game. And you may not like how we play the game, you may not like it. That's the way we play, that's the way, we, that's the way I coach. I'm not changing. We found success in it. And maybe some days, like today, we end up on the losing side of the, the stick. But guess what? We live to see another day, we live to see um, to come back next year and try to do this again because I'm not changing, I'm not changing, but I hear you. I hear you. I hear you when you're in public and you're talking about my team in particular. Just watch what you say about our team because it's wrong. You, you got young lives who are really, if you really knew them, if you really knew them, like you really want to know other players that represent this game. You would think. 
Yes, and this is the type of society we live in today. So Dawn Staley, they have to make that. And in other words, you're hearing stuff that national sport writers are, are, are saying about the plays in North Carolina. Seem like it's still a racist society, no matter what we do. Because there was a rising star in college in Caitlin Clark. You know, it's like nobody was going to watch the, the women's March Madness. Now you have a good team at LSU, Louisiana State University, and Iowa. And you know Louisiana State's more of a black team. <sighs> South Carolina was supposed to have one. Plain and simple. They were the best team, hands down. Champions, best team. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You win by the three, you die by the three. All I can say is today, this is probably going to be one of the most watched females basketball tournament ever. And I'm going to be here to watch it. <laughs> and hope that there's a good game going on at 3.30 today. Let's stop the division and let's be great. And let's look at people for who they are and stop choosing them by the color of their skin. But we got past that. 2023. Salute to Dawn Staley, South Carolina, you know, and other teams that that you know uh competed. You know, your time will come. And if not, it's it's an experience in life. This is Van Silk, not in your house. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button. And uh, ring, ding, 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 ding.